we'll be able to continue to pray. Just a few minutes before we get out of the way here and let these others come. I'm thankful that it doesn't take uh, anything of this world to cause somebody to have a blessing, to feel good. You know, we were talking about she was singing that, that song. I'm thankful that the Lord doesn't look for you to offer anything that this world's got. <laughs> yeah. Thankful for that. I'm thankful that He owns it all. Amen. Because I don't have much. He owns it all. Yeah. Naturally so. I don't have much to give him. <laughs> but you know, we had such a good weekend. Both, I thought both Saturday night and Sunday morning. It seemed like all weekend I was just on cloud nine. Yeah. <laughs> but it just shows how weak I am. You know, we can have a weekend like that and then come Monday morning you feel a little bit weaker. That's right. That quick. Tuesday. I'm just talking about myself. Tuesday comes around and I seem to get frustrated a little quicker and quicker, quicker to anger and I lose my patience a little easier. And if we could just stay hungry, like you were talking about, just stay hungry all the time, then God will feed us. Yeah. And it's the same when you when you come out to church. If you come out to church truly hungry and seeking a blessing, then it'll be good. Yeah. And you'll leave filled up. It seems like the Lord. There's times in, in my life where I felt like He's kind of tested me a little bit. Yeah. I don't pretend to know anything and, or understand his ways. I just try to be obedient and follow. <clears throat> and you know, I read a little story this morning here and it's been on my mind probably all week. And I just see myself all over when I look back and how I came to the church and then came to the calling that I felt to preach and Once again, Israel had gotten themselves in trouble. Yep. One more time, they had turned away from God. I could see myself in that. And there was a kingdom of Midian. The Midianites had come and taken them over, and they had ruled over them for seven years. And this is shortly after that God had delivered them out of Egypt not too long since then. And there was a great famine in the land and everything. The earth was scorched. And the crops, the Midianites came and they took all of their best crops, anything that the lowly Israelites would grow, they would come and take it. And there was a man named Gideon. And he was out threshing his wheat one time. And he was just a lowly man. He had nothing. So much so that he was threshing his wheat by the wine press to hide it. So the Midianites wouldn't know that he had it. No doubt just trying to feed his family. Yeah. Uh, listen, because they were in bondage. Yeah. Uh, listen. Uh, and you know what? An angel come to <laughs> him there. Yeah. Uh, listen, you to pray and yeah. preach this morning. Yes, the Lord. Uh, listen, uh, and the angel come and stood before Gideon. Uh, uh, listen and said, uh, Thou mighty man of valor. Yeah, he did. Uh, listen, uh, uh, no doubt Gideon uh, uh, was wearing rags. Uh, uh, listen, out there working uh, uh, like the servants did. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, Gideon. 
and looked at him and said, Oh, who are you talking to? <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, yeah. Oh, aren't you glad uh, that my Lord doesn't look uh, at yeah. the worldly right. things here? Uh, aren't you glad uh, that it doesn't Thank take uh, a grand spectacle uh, uh, just to feel uh, uh, the touch of my God? Uh, right. Oh, right. Uh, listen, uh, and you know what? Uh, uh, the angel looked at Gideon and said, uh, uh, The Lord is with yes. thee. Uh, yeah. uh, you are going to deliver yeah. uh, yeah. Uh, God's people. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, yeah. uh, uh, and Gideon looked at him and said, uh, uh, How is this so? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm nothing yeah. here. Uh, yeah. uh, there's He's famine in the yeah. land. Uh, uh, my family has nothing. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, God will uh, uh, oftentimes uh, uh, put you in a situation uh, uh, not only uh, uh, to teach you, uh, yes. uh, but maybe uh, uh, give you an opportunity uh, uh, to strengthen your faith. Uh, uh, listen. And you know what, uh, uh, Gideon, uh, uh, he wasn't, uh, I don't think he was binding uh, uh, there, uh, uh, but he asked that angel, uh, uh, he said, uh, I need you to show me something, uh, because uh, of all the hardship going yep. on, uh, uh, my faith is weak, uh, but oh, and Gideon made him a little altar there, uh, a little sacrifice, uh, uh, listen, uh, and uh, uh, that angel angel took his staff uh, and touched it in, uh, and it burst into flames uh, and consumed it all. Uh, oh, uh, you know what? Uh, after I'd come uh, and join the church, uh, uh, listen, uh, and I thought, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, my struggle's over. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I thought, yeah. uh, uh, well, uh, uh, now I can just give me a seat in the back uh, and I'll be <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, less than a year uh, after I'd been walked out in the water, uh, I felt uh, a little calling uh, uh, down inside, uh, uh, just like old Gideon. Uh, uh, Lord, who you talking to? Uh, uh, surely, uh, uh, surely you're mistaken, uh, because I can, uh, I can't do this thing. Uh, I'm nothing here. Uh, oh, the things I've done uh, in my life. Life, uh, uh, Lord, uh, uh, surely I can uh, okay. get up here uh, and try to preach your word, uh, uh, Lord, uh, uh, but uh, aren't you glad uh, uh, that my Lord is a consuming fire, uh, uh, listen, uh, and you know what, uh, uh, just like Jesus told them, yep. uh, uh, if these held their peace, all right. uh, uh, the very right. stones would cry yeah. out, yeah. Uh, because uh, uh, when my Lord moves, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, it's with a purpose, yeah. you yeah. know what, yeah, purpose. And you know what? Gideon said, okay. So he went out to where the Midianites were camped. And he started trying to rally the people. And you know what? I believe if I read it right, he had about 32,000 men. But it says that the Midianites, when you looked over their army, they were like grasshoppers for the multitude. Covered the land, didn't they? And no doubt, 32,000 against that vast <laughs> army. Surely, <laughs> surely there was a fear set in those men. And then Gideon, mm. even after what he had beheld and what the angel had showed him. Yeah. But you know what? Listen, how my Lord works this morning. Uh, listen, he spoke to Gideon one more time and he said, uh, uh, there's too many men in your yeah. army. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, no doubt Gideon was looking at him saying, what are you talking yeah. about? Uh, listen, they outnumber us 50 to 1. Yeah. Uh, but my Lord said, no, uh, you've got too many soldiers. Uh, uh, because, uh, uh, listen, I'm going to do this thing for yeah. you. Uh, okay. And I don't want them to say it was by my hand. Uh, uh, by my own hand. Uh, 
I listen, uh, so uh, uh, Gideon went to him and said, uh, uh, Behold the army, uh, uh, those of you uh, uh, that are afraid, uh, uh, you turn around and go back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? Uh, uh, 22,000 of them uh, uh, turned and left Gideon. I yeah, sure uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, well over half of his army yep. uh, turned around and left. Uh, and yeah. no doubt, uh, uh, the 10,000 yeah. that was left uh, uh, were awful bold. Uh, yeah. uh, listen, uh, uh, no doubt. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Then uh, uh, fear still set in. Uh, uh, Lord, Lord, uh, you say you're with us, uh, uh, but now we're 10,000 yeah. uh, yeah. against the great enemy. Uh, uh, Lord, uh, uh, but uh, uh, my Lord wasn't done. Yeah. Uh, he said, uh, uh, Gideon, uh, uh, you still got too many. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, listen, uh, uh, take them down to the river. Yeah. Uh, and when uh, you bid them to drink, uh, uh, those of them uh, uh, that bend their faces down uh, and lap the water like a dog, uh, uh, you send yeah. them back home. Yeah. Uh, but those of your men uh, that get on their knees uh, and bring the water to them to drink, uh, uh, those are yeah. my chosen That's ones. Right. Uh, listen, yeah. and after they were done, uh, there was only uh, uh, 300 <laughs> men uh, yeah. then uh, God had chosen. Yeah. Lord. <laughs> From 32,000 men down to 300. Mm. And you know what? No doubt. Gideon was still mm. scared. Mm -hmm. Because he asked the Lord again to give him another sign. Amen. You know the story of the fleece. Mm -hmm. What God did. But you know what? When they had come and they were looking down at that army and God spoke to them one more time and said, with these 300 men, you're going to yeah. deliver Israel. Amen. And he didn't stop there because he knew God said, but if you're still afraid, then you creep down. You creep down by the enemy's tent and you listen. listen. And I'll tell you, uh, listen, I'll tell you what's going to happen. Uh, so Gideon went down to the tent that night, uh, to the enemy's tent, and he was listening. Uh, and one of the Midianite soldiers spoke up and said, uh, I had a little dream last night. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, that we were camped just like this, uh, and a little tiny uh, a cake of barley come rolling yeah. in, uh, and it landed in one of the tents, uh, and it ripped it over, uh, and ran yeah. into uh, uh, listen, uh, and he said, I know uh, uh, that this is none other uh, yeah. uh, than the sword of Gideon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. coming. Uh, oh, yeah. when Gideon heard that, yeah. uh, he went back up uh, and said, Let's go, boys. Go uh, uh, listen, right. uh, God is going to deliver yeah. them. Yeah, they were yeah. afraid. Yes. That's right. That's, that's how my Lord works. Mm. They were scared of that little army. 300 against. No doubt a hundred thousand. And they were afraid of Gideon because they knew the Lord was with them. Amen. Yeah. And you know, when I say that God uses opportunities mm -hmm. to teach us, you can call it testing us or whatever you want. He's just teaching us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When Jesus was walking, he had just healed, raised the little maid up from mm -hmm. death. And he was continuing on his little journey there. And there was two blind men that had followed him. Oh, yeah. Don't know how they followed him. They couldn't see, but it says they followed him. And they cried unto him and said, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. Yeah. No doubt that Jesus knew what was wrong with him without even turning around. He knew what ailed him. Yep. But he turned to him and he asked him one question. He said, Believe ye that I am able to do this. And they looked at him and said, Yeah, Lord, we know that you can do this. And he turned back to him and said, According to your faith, Amen. be it so. 
Because they believe, their eyes were open. According to your faith. Mm -hmm. It's the same way today. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get out of the way and let these come. Yes, by your heart. I don't want to take a bunch of time. Preach. I felt good. Yeah. I'd rather listen. But you know what makes me think about that little story of Gideon and when I was called to preach and how unworthy and undeserving I was. Surely there had been a mistake. But aren't you glad that God works out of the sight of man? Yep. Come on, we want to come. Come on, Pat.